If you're someone who rides your bike to work in Melbourne, you partake, whether you like it or not, in the Commuter Olympics every single day. Just below me here is one of the Yarra Trail segments along the Yarra River into the city over here. Quite busy of a morning and an evening. We're in the middle of the day at the moment, so it's pretty quiet. What I did the other day though is pulled out some stats between five o'clock and about 11 o'clock in the morning of all the riders down here who uploaded to Strava. I wanted to see just how serious these commuter Olympians were and uh, what kind of equipment they used. Let's go down, I'll ride the segment and I'll talk you through the stats that we saw. These Melbourne cyclists are pretty serious when it comes to their Strava and there's some interesting stats that come out of it. Let's go for a ride. Yarra Boulevard Bend Sprint. It's a 1.1 kilometer westbound segment along the Yarra River, just over here. On February 21st, I extracted all the activities that people had logged or people had uploaded to Strava. Uh, we ended up with 463 activities between 5 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. And here's the overview. Again, I love this data. So the number one device used was the Strava iPhone app with 166 users, 70 Garmin Edge 520s in second place. Coming in third is 49 Strava Android app users. And I'll put the rest up on the screen as well now. Pretty similar to a lot of the Fondo rides we see and kind of what I expected for the demographic of people riding to and from work. It's much easier to just throw your phone in your pocket and hit go, then open up a Garmin and start it and wait for GPS sync and all the stuff we have to do. So interesting stuff there. Other stats, and here's a big one. 418 males, 25 females. That's a huge difference. Again, this is only the people who have uploaded to Strava though. So this isn't representative of every single person who's used the path on a bike. It's only people who've recorded the data. So maybe guys are just more likely to upload their data and have a look and compare with their mates. And women don't do that. Not sure, but 25 females, still good. Keep it up, ladies. Strava premium users, 29.8% Strava premium users. Quite low. I thought this would be a little higher with people riding to and from work. If you're using the service every single day to ride to work, this was just a random day during the week when the sun was out. So there'd be regular users of Strava service, but aren't less than 30% people actually paying for the service? Strava, you really need to sort that out. Power meter usage, 14.25%. Now this was just a bit of a fun one I had a look at as well to see how serious these people were. Well, anybody can have a power meter, but 14.25, that's not too bad. Probably higher than what I actually thought. So. Some interesting stats there from the Melbourne Commuter Olympics. This is only a very small subset of data we can actually collect all, either all around Melbourne or anywhere in the world. But I think it's really, really interesting. I won't go into average speeds and heart rates and comm times and things like that. I don't want to encourage people making these uh, Commuter Olympics any more dangerous. They are hectic. Anyway, time to get out, get some more sunshine and uh, a few more Ks in. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.